Good morning, happy Friday. Here we are again. Patio Pilates plus some other movements. So, you know, blend of Pilates, blend of some cardio, a little bit of stretching, some weights. Today you'll need your mat and your weights, and um, we're gonna get started. So we're gonna start actually at the end of the mat. I'm gonna start on this side away from the sun, see if I can remember to face this way. It's a beautiful morning. We're gonna reach up the arms, breathe in. Exhale, arms go back down. We'll do that two more times, inhale, lift. Exhale, arms down. One more time, breathe in. And exhale, arms down. This time we're gonna add those cactus arms at the top. So we inhale, lift. Give a nice extension of the spine. You wanna really pull back into your scapula and then bring the arms back down. One more like that, inhale, lift up. Cactus arms. This time we're going to dive forward into a roll down, scooping the belly, hanging heavy, rounding the spine. Shake out the head. Tuck under the tail. Roll up. Knees are soft. Roll back up. Cactus arms. Reach up again. Diving down. Shake out the head. Tuck the chin. Tuck the tail. Scoop the belly. Roll it up again. Last time. Reach it up. Big cactus arms, and then last time. We're gonna roll down, hold this shape here. Relax the arms. You're not trying to force yourself to touch the mat. You're just hanging heavy. Your arms are not um, you know, reaching, hyperextending. They're hanging heavy from the shoulders. And then you're gonna bend your knees a little bit, place your hands on your mat, and walk out into a plank, okay? So you're gonna hold your plank, squeeze into your lats, Hold this plank. We're gonna do a little footwork here, just kind of rocking forward and back on our feet. Onto our dorsi, flex the feet, keeping the abs in. We're gonna do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five more, holding that plank. Four, three, two, and one. Now you're gonna look back to your feet, walk your hands in, so you can get your heels down as much as possible. Look back at your feet and you're gonna walk out your feet here. A little more footwork. Abdominals lifted. Shoulders down out of your ears. Neck is long. Four more sets. Three, two, and one. Very good, you'll walk your hands back to your feet. Try to keep your positioning Tuck the tail, roll up, bone by bone. We're gonna roll the shoulders back, three, two, and one, and then big circles forward. One, two, three. A little wider through the feet again, two fist distance. We're gonna uh, roll down, walk out to the plank for a set of push-ups. So chin to the chest, roll down. Hang heavy. You wanna really stretch this mid part of your back and then come down a little deeper, bend your knees, walk back out. A few steps as you can. Spread the fingers wide. Draw the shoulders down, three push-ups. One, they don't have to be very big. Two, three, look back. Walk back the hands and up. Back to that downward dog, shoulders down. And then continue to walk back. Tuck the chin and tail roll up. Roll the shoulders back, three, two, one. Last time to roll down to that lovely plank. So chin to the chest, roll down, abs in. Hang heavy. See how few steps of your hands you can take to walk out. One, two, three, hopefully. And we're gonna do leg pull here. We're gonna lift up one leg, bring it down. We're gonna add a little footwork here. We're gonna lift, point, flex, lower. Lift, there we go. Nice, one more. Set, last time. Good job, walk your hands back a little bit. Look back to the knees, to the feet, press your heels down, shoulders down, abdominals lifted, and then walk back. A few steps as you can, tuck under and roll it up. Oh, that 
that sun is shining now. Okay, so we're going to do a little cardio segment. We're going to be doing some knee lifts. We're going to be doing some squats. We're going to do some rotation of the spine and some leg lifts to the back. So we're going to just start off with our arms in this kind of uh, little Ijimajini shape, all right? And you're going to bring one knee up at a time, out in front, trying to bring your knee as close to your forearm elbow as you can. My feet are parallel. My head and shoulders stacked right on top of the pelvis. Looking good. Abdominals in. We're going to go four more sets. And three. A bug on me. Two more sets. One more time. All right. Now, we are going to add a little bit of rotation. So we're going to lift up the knee the same way. We're going to turn to that opposite knee. So one knee is going to lift, you're going to rotate, and then switch. Now my stance went a little bit wider. I want this nice turn from the waist, and this a little bit of a bow, but you're not really going very low. You're trying to bring up your leg really high, okay? So it's definitely rotation, big leg lift, big knee lift, nice stance on the mat, four more. Breathing, get that heart rate up. Doing yesterday's workout. One more set. Okay, now we're going to add a squat to that. So we're going to squat. As we come out of our squat, we're going to do one leg lift, the other leg lift, then sit back and squat. Okay? So right, left, squat. Right leg up, left elbow in, and then back. And again. Good. This is great because you're getting some heart rate, some legs, some core, and some good work for the spine, for spinal rotation. Four more sets. Here we go. Nice. Breathing. Let's do two more. Nice. One more time. Now just keep squatting and lifting. Now, the arms are gonna go up when you squat, taking your arms out in front of your chest and shoulders, but not shrugging. Remember, those arms are attached to your back, trying to keep the neck long. Now, we're gonna be adding on a back leg lift, so make sure there isn't any furniture or anything you can kick to. So, you're gonna squat, Lift one leg back, squat, lift the other. Now when I'm lifting my leg, I shift my weight forward a little bit. Not a whole lot, but enough to be able to feel that balance on that lift. Remember, I'm not lifting from my knee, meaning the leg is really straight, and the foot should be kind of flexed, so there's not gonna be a pointed toe on this one. Good. Let's do six more. Five, abdominals in four, three, fill in those glutes, two, and one. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to start in the middle. We're going to kind of step, tap back and forth to one direction of your mat. I'm going to go right. If you're facing me, you can go left. All right, hands on the hips. So I'm just going to step, tap, step, tap. Very simple, just step, tap. Now this may start to get a little bit bigger and that's okay. And then we're going to try to bring a little bit of kind of like a small soft knee in this where we're sitting back with our glutes a little bit. I'm trying to do about 10 sets. And then we're going to be holding a star shape next time you travel here. So this leg is staying out. You're going to raise up for three, two, one. Then come back in the middle. We're going to go the other way. So we're just going to step tap first, staying tall. Just easy, step tap, abdominals lifted, shoulders back, neck is long, we're breathing, and then we're going to take it just a little lower and maybe take up more space of our mat, really finding the length, using those outer thighs and glutes, and breathing for four, three, two, almost came off my mat there. 
and one. Now we're going to hold this leg out. We're going to raise the farther away leg. We're going to lift, hopefully, and hold for three, two, one. Almost lost that one. Very good. Okay, so we're going to come down onto our mat. Alrighty. All the way down. We're going to go into some abdominal work. So we're going to start all the way down on the mat. Arms down next to you. Abdominals pulled in. Feet are just slightly apart. We're going to just start with some marching. So you don't want your heels super close to your glutes. You want your feet in front of your knees and your knees forward of your pelvis. Your ribs are down, your abdominals are pulled in, your shoulder blades are down your back. So we're just gonna lift up one foot at a time as if I was marching from standing on the floor. And if I was doing this on the floor, I wouldn't raise a hip up to lift my legs. So I want your pelvis to stay very anchored so your tailbone is pressing down on the mat neutral spine which basically means that it's your anatomically correct position standing head and shoulders ribs and pelvis with a little baby space under your lumbar spine right above the waistband of your pants so kind of confusing but you just don't want to be imprinted you don't want to push that low back down and you also don't want to be arched in the back okay so now we're going to bring one leg to tabletop and hold it there and then using your core, bring the other leg up. So our abs should be warmer by now. We're gonna prep for our hundreds. So we're gonna take one arm up to the sky, press the back bones down, other arm up to the sky, press the back bones down. We'll squeeze the legs together, lower the feet slightly, and you're gonna bow forward, exhale, and then return to the starting. And exhale. And you're trying to think about how you nod your chin first, so you stay out of your neck. Now if this really starts to get into your neck, anything that we do, where you are in forward flexion, so that upper back lifting, lifted up, you can take one hand behind your head, not on your neck, but the skull, and hold it there. Otherwise, here you are. Now we're gonna do three more. We're trying to get about 10 of these preps. And in the last one, we're gonna hold, and we're also gonna stretch our legs out. Now you can always come back here. All right, legs go out, feet turn into a V, Legs are zipped. You're going to start pumping your arms. Breathe in. Blow out. This is our hundreds. Breathe in. And out. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Breathing in. And out. Good job. Four more. In. And out. Stay right there. Three more. Squeeze your belly in tight. Only one more time. Out, two, three, four, five, hold, and then hug it in. Oh, we felt those today. Good job, shoulders down. So we're gonna do a little bit of a movement that we would do on the reformer here on the mat called starfish. So we're gonna start in that same position with tabletop legs, arms up to the shoulders. And we're gonna bow our head and shoulders forward as we press our arms down. So take a breath in, bow forward, arms down. Now you're gonna turn your palms to face into your body and you're gonna straighten your legs and turn out to that Pilates V. Now hold this shape, open the arms and legs, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, hang in there, three, two, and one. Now bend the knees, turn the palms, and then raise the arms up. Keep your legs in tabletop if you can. This time, we're only gonna do the arms. We call this iron cross, or it's a lap press, or a lap pull. So we're gonna keep those legs tabletop, bow forward, exhaling. Now extend the legs, but keep the legs together in parallel. Turn your palms in and just your arms out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try to keep the shoulders from lifting. Keep breathing, let's do three more. And two, it's getting warm. And when I'm getting my vitamin D for these workouts and bring it in right there, very good. Okay, so now we are gonna go into a little bit of bridging. So we're gonna separate our feet slightly, our knees and our feet, again, maybe two hand distances apart, arms down next to you. You're gonna press into your hands and your feet, tuck your tailbone. Now you're imprinting. So posterior tuck, squeeze your glutes, lift the hips into your bridge. Now, from here, you're going to walk your feet in and 
then come up onto your toes. So we're gonna do a little more footwork here. Pulling your belly in, drawing your shoulders down. You're gonna tap and lift your heels 10 times. Trying to really keep squeezing your glutes, your hamstrings. Keeping your abdominals lifted, or, you know, drawn in tight. Good job. Try not to drop your hips. Clouds look so pretty today. Three more. Two, one. Now lift your heels high and keep your heels high. Stay in your bridge. Take your right leg, either leg really, or do both legs, but take one leg up. Your toes are pointed. You're going to flex your foot, lower the leg. Point your toes lift. Now you're not going to lower it till it touches the mat. You're only going to lower it to where you don't drop your hips. So you're keeping the pelvis up, shoulders down. Three more. Two and one. We're going to bring that leg down. Lift up the pelvis, pull the abs in, take the other leg up. All right, flex lower one, two. I don't know if we did 10 on the other side. We're going to do 10 here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep lifting. Eight, nine. You got one more time. Those quads are working. 10. Bring that foot down. Lower your heels. Articulate down. Very good. Hug the knees in. Draw the shoulders down. Okay, so we are gonna roll ourselves up. We're gonna rock on our back for 10 counts. We're gonna lift up our head, tuck our chin, tuck our heels to our glutes. We're gonna just start rocking small. So basically you're trying to not touch your head or your feet and staying in this really tight kind of a ball shape from the forehead to the knees, the heels to the glutes. Let's do two more and all the way up. Very good. Okay, so you're going to grab your weights. We are going to have our feet down flat on the mat. Give yourself some space. A little bit of space between the feet and knees. We're going to do some arm work while we're in a half low back like we've done before. So I like to hold the back of the legs. I feel my sits bones right here. You're going to tuck your tail and roll back until you feel that you aren't on the sits bones, but you're not way back here on your lumbar. You're balancing right there on the edge of that tailbone, okay? So we're going to start with the arms out in front, palms up, elbows lifted, curl your wrists a little bit. We're going to do single arm bicep curls. There's a hummer, a little hummingbird. Good job, a little breeze, feels good. Hopefully you guys are doing this with me. I miss our reformers. I miss our chairs. I miss our towers. I miss my spin classes so much. I'm not going out much to the studio at all, even I went and checked out it yesterday. Picked up a magic circle, everything looks fine, but very lonely, that whole building. I don't think there's anybody, you know, in the building now. Let's do one more set. And then come all the way up. Very good. Now turn your palms facing in. This is kind of like a hammer curl, or bicep curl, but with this kind of like you're gonna hammer a nail with your hammer, okay? So we tuck under. Scoop the belly, shoulders down, single arm. I'm trying to do 10 on each arm, 20 total. Now if this bugs your back, you could sit up here and do this and just sit up tall, right? But we want to incorporate the core as much as we can. So remember, your core, a strong core is going to help your back get stronger. And a strong back it's going to help with everything, your posture, your, you know, sleep, your walking, your gait. We want strong backs. One more set here, and then we come back up. Now we're going to do a little rotation for the waist and for the oblique. So we're going to tuck, roll down, hold. Arms are in front. I'm going to turn away from the camera. I'm going to leave this arm that's not going with me right there. And I'm going to do five, turning away two. I'm trying not to move my hips. Just from my waist, head, neck, chest. Let's do two more. A little bit of a breeze, last one. And then other side, here we go, stay roll back. One, shoulders are on fire. Two, you don't need to do weights if you don't want to. Three, we'll do six, so three more. I think we did one more on the other side. Two, and one. And then we're gonna roll down with our weights. So we're gonna take our elbows wide. Palms face 
your legs face away from you. My shoulders um, are down out of my ears, but my elbows aren't quite as high as my shoulders, maybe a little bit lower. And the palm and hand, you know, right over my elbow joint. So I'm just gonna go straight up and back down, trying to stay neutral in my spine, chin to chest. Now, if you feel that your head is a little more like this, get a pillow and put that little baby pillow or roll up towel or your mat under your head. You don't want your head lifted higher than your chest, but you also don't want any impingement on your cervical spine. So let's do three more here, two and one. Now turn your palms in, lower your shoulders. Remember your hug, you're gonna open, tap your arms wide and hug over your chest. I'm not over my face or my pelvis, I'm right over my chest. So out and hug. You can see the elbows are a little soft. Your feet are planted nice and strong. Now if you want to challenge this a little bit, you're going to bring one leg tabletop, other leg tabletop. And let's go ahead and go for five more here. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now, you're going to put one weight away. That hand that had the weight goes behind your head. Then you're going to take this arm, palm faces forward, and you're going to reach across the other side of the body and come back. So you're going to reach two, three, four. I wouldn't extend the arm on this one because of the weight. If you didn't have the weight, you could do it with a straight arm. Try to keep the pelvis very stable. Going for that oblique again. Let's just do two more. Now rest, put that weight down, grab the other one. Other hand goes behind the head. Here we go. One, two, come across. Three, abdominals in. Four, five, six, seven. Really reach like you're going to reach for your pinky toe. Eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Now, both weights down, both hands behind the head. Lift up the head and shoulders. We're gonna do that double leg stretch, double leg lift and lower combo. So we're gonna take both legs, stretch them out, lift up the legs, bend them back in. So extend, lift like a circle. Let's do two more. Here's your tough. One more time. Now straight legs, lower, bend in, extend up. You can see I'm coming just a little deeper. Then my pelvis, three more, two, and one. Nice, now stay right here, hands behind the head, flex the feet, we're just gonna do little lifts. Now right here, I'm not going over my body, I'm trying to stay right on top of my pelvis, press into the arms, feel like you're pushing your heels up to the sky. This is actually a P90X movement called Heels to Heaven. Good old Tony Horton, wonder what happened to him. Let's do five, four, three. Fill those, two, and one. Now, you're going to extend the legs back to the ceiling. You're gonna turn out the knees and pray, find that little prayer foot. And then you're gonna bend your knees in deep and extend straight up one, and two, and three. Keep that rib cage down, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're going to add a close and open before you go up and down. So your knees are apart, feet are together like little prayer or monkey feet. So you're going to close the knees, open, then lift and close, open, bend. Close, open, lift, open, bend. Close, open, lift, open, bend. I know we feel these. And we're breathing. Doing good. Gonna go straight up. I think I'm off to the side a little bit. I'm gonna go three more. Inner thighs are screaming. Who needs weights? Let's do one more. Squeeze at the top, bring it down. Very good. Okay. So we're gonna roll up to do a little more standing with our weights. So flex your feet. Arms up, we're gonna do three roll-ups. So remember on a roll, the more we practice, the better you get. You lift your head, imprint your lumbar, look at your feet, roll up, round the spine. 
scoop the belly and slowly articulate down. Really working on the low back, right? So we lift our head, imprint your low back, and then roll up. Reach forward, stretch, tuck the tail, and then roll back down. So we're always moving the mat on that one. One more time to come up to stay up, lift the head, roll up, stretch. All right, very nice, you guys. So we are gonna go ahead and fix your ponytail. And then we're going to be coming up to standing. Sorry for this. Okay, so back up to your standing form. You're gonna grab your dumbbells, pop it up. We're gonna do wide second now. Okay, so let's just add some plies with some single arm raises. So your feet are wide and turn out. Shoulders down your back, abs are in. So what you're gonna do is start with a nice plie, raising one arm in front, bring it back down to the thigh, other arm. And we lift and lift. Good. Feels good to stretch the legs, get up off of that supine on your back. Position, core is warm, we're breathing, nice. Now, you're gonna go into your plie and hold it. Shoulders back, abs in, and both arms raise up 10, nine. Eight, seven, six. Squeeze all of those leg muscles. Squeeze the glutes underneath of you. Lift through the abdominals. Pull the ribs back and into your body. Three more. Two and one. Now hold here. Pump it down in that plie. Ten, nine. Shoulders back. Eight, seven. Don't come out of your plie, you guys. I know you can do it. Stay right here. Fight for it. Five, four. Woo, they're burning. Three, two. One, bring it up, good job. Shake out your legs. All right, over the head. All right, so your arms go up as you plie. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Really pull down like you're doing a lap pull with the bar in the gym. Feel the serratus, feel the rhomboids. Feel the latissimus, you're working all of that back, shoulder, back deltoid, posterior deltoid muscle. Three more, two, one, very good. Now, turn your palms wide out here, stay in this deep plie. You're gonna try to take your arms almost behind your outer thighs. This is tough for a little externally rotated humerus bone bicep curl. Sink deep into your plie, I want you to feel this. Five more abs in. Four, how low can you go? Three, you're almost there. Two, and one. Oh, those legs. Shake it out. Very good. Okay, so let's just take the feet parallel again. We are gonna bend into one leg, all right? And what you're gonna do is you're going to also have your elbow bent and form into your body, okay? Then when you come back up to standing, you're gonna externally rotate. Now my foot on my left side is pretty parallel, my, my stabilizing leg. This foot's in a little bit of a turn up, okay? So when my knee is bent, my elbow is bent, okay? So we're gonna keep the elbow hugged into your body, working those external rotator cuffs, so those muscles that help you mobilize that arm bone inside, that glenoid socket, so really good kind of physical therapy, preventive maintenance movement here. Plus you're getting this nice single leg lunge. Two more, and last one. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this foot in, all right? And as I bend my knee, I'm gonna pull across, other side, okay? So, Trying to keep that elbow hugging me like I've got something between my elbow and my body. This may not feel like much, but I promise it's really good for your shoulders. Definitely feel the leg. But again, we want to keep all of our joints nice and lubricated. We mobilize the bone inside, and then we also create that synovial fluid. Let's do three more, two, and one. Very good. 
We're going to stay wide with the feet. We're going to come into this stance like a big sumo squat with the hips back behind you. Okay, we're going to go out and tap. Two abs in. Three, four, five. Now I'm looking down, but I'm not hanging my head. I am looking straight down underneath where my nose is pointing, and my neck is aligned with my spine, and my head is an extension of the spine. And two more, and hold. Now turn your palms this way, you're gonna pump 10, nine, these are hard, eight, do your best, seven, six, go lower in your sumo, abs in, five, four, work in those arms, three, two, one, stand it up. Those are so hard. Put that down. Let's roll it out. Shake it out. We're going to do a little sideline. We're going to combine a little ballet with some traditional um, sideline Pilates movements. So you're going to sit on your mat. You're going to take a lay down, ear on shoulder, turning out your top leg from your femur to your foot. This hand may be an anchor. You want to make sure you're on that bottom hip. You don't want to be back on your glutes. So you want both hip bones shining forward. So we're going to take this top leg. We're going to bring the leg in until the toes against the knee. We're going to lift the leg up and lower back down. We're going to do 10. So here we go, two, three, four. So you can remember back, guys and girls, if you've taken any dance, ballet, the passe, very good exercise for those abductors. Also a little quadricep here, inner thigh. Remember the length, really reach through your toes. Reaching, two more, breathing, and one more time. Now, I'm gonna just take the leg, keep it turned out, do eight circles. We're gonna do eight each direction. These are tough. So you can see, my legs just a little higher than my hip. You could do them down here if you wanted. You just don't want to be way down here. Okay, you want to lift that leg enough to feel that you're working. The leg and then reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do a bicycle. So we're going to bend the leg, extend it in front of you, bring it back, make sure there's nothing behind you. Bend and extend. We're going to do five and then reverse it. This is three. Abdominals in, four, five. Now, you're gonna bend, push back, bring it forward, bend, extend back, bring it forward, bend, extend back, abdominals in, two more, I hope, one more, very good. Now, push yourself up to seated. Take that leg you just worked, bring it across, if it doesn't go all the way across, bring it in front. You're going to kind of stretch into that outer thigh and hip. Go tall. Breathe in. All right, other side. All right, so we come down on our mat. Hopefully I won't run into those weights. I'm going to stack my hips. I want a little space right here above the waistband. The reason I'm doing that is if I was to sink that down, you can see it shortens my top leg. So I want to really find length in the top leg, the working leg. So I'm going to rotate the leg out, okay? I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to passe, okay? Extend, lower. I'm going to passe up the leg. And we could have done this in the reverse. We do this with feet and straps on the tower part of our machines at the studio. So it adds some strength training. But this is really great to do here as well. Again, when we create this choreography, it creates this mind-body connection, which we talk about in Pilates and also in yoga. And it's so good because you are having to utilize your mind to know where your body is in space. Two more, you're doing so good. And one more time. Very good. Awesome, very good. Draw the shoulders down. Okay, so from here, we're gonna take the leg up. You can still be a little turn it if you want. You're gonna do your circles. Eight, seven, six, five abs in, four, three, two, and one reverse. Eight, 
Seven, keep the pelvis as quiet as you can. I know this is hard. Four more. Three, two, one. Now bend the knee. Extend in front of like it's in a bike pedal. Bring it back. Kick. Extend out two abdominals in. Keep the neck long. Chin off the chest. Two more. These are really hard. You guys are doing good. One more time. And then reverse. Kick back. Extend forward and bend, extend. Slower is better. We want to keep lifting up to that waistband. We want to find length in the leg. Use your better use your upper body too to stabilize. One more time. Oh, I filled every one of those. We're going to push ourselves up. All right, bring this leg across. You can tell I have more flexibility in this side. Lift up, shoulders down, and breathe. Very good. Working to the end of our workout, we do a little bit of a quadruped session and then we will be stretching and finishing. So a few more minutes. So we're gonna go into a nice spread fingers, shoulders down, curl your toes. We did these the other day. So what you're gonna start with is your cat and your cow or your camel, your extension. So round flex, extend, lengthen. Think about inhaling here, and exhaling here. We want to inhale into back extension. It facilitates the spinal extension. Exhale, scoop. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Find your neutral. All right, toes are curled. We're gonna raise up the knees. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna hold on ten for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Got a little shaky there. Very good. Come down on the forearms. Send the right leg or one leg behind you, abdominals in. Raise one. Shoulders down two. I'm not down here. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hold up on ten. Flex the foot. Pump ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold. Bring it down. Send the other leg back. Here we go. One, two. That's in shoulders low. Three. Lengthen the neck. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Hold it up. Flex. Pump. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Child's pose. Stretching. Breathing. Inhaling. Shake out your head. Inhale. Exhale. Walk the hands in, come to a seated position. Let's just, I guess I'll straddle this way here, away from the sun, the sun's raising up in the sky. All right, I'm on the sits bones. I'm gonna take my arms off to the side, lower the shoulders, I'm gonna rotate away from the camera, and bow, chop one, two, lift up, rotate, one, two. Add the rotation of the hand behind you, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. Sign that pinky toe up. Spinal rotation. Back in the center. Take one hand down, lift the other arm up and over. Side bend. Three, two, one. Other side. Three, two, one. Back in the middle. middle. Spread the legs a little wider if you can. Bend the knees if you need to. Walk out your hands. Drop the head down. Relax the shoulders. Shake out the head. Flex the feet. Point the toes. Flex the feet. Point the toes. Last time, flex and point. We got warm. 
bring the legs in. I have my notes. I know I skipped some, but we're good. We're going to go back into this little toe curled under position. Right here, stretching the tibia, stretching into your Achilles tendon, your calves, shoulders down. Head comes towards the knees. Press into your fingers and feet. Look back at your knees. Take your hands behind your calves. Use your arm strength to pull the chest into the thighs, nose to the knees. Stretch your back. Hold here. Three, two, one. Let go of the fingers or hands behind you. Round yourself up bone by bone. Come back to the midline. Turn the feet out nice and wide. Bend into one knee. Take that arm inside. Reach the arm up. Open the chest. Look up. Three, two, one. Other side. Open it up. Three, two, one. Bring it in. We're going to breathe in. Bring it down. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Breathe in. Exhale. One last time. And that's it. You guys are done. You did really good. Thank you for joining me again today. Good job. Stick with it. We're going to keep going all through April. Keep working out. You guys have a great weekend. Bye.